Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Okay, I have the PE770. We know that the biggest hoop it comes with is the 5x7. Um, and I also have the Embrillion's platform. Um, I have Stitch Artist. Well, I have two and three, so pretty much we call it three. Um, and then I also have Essentials and Enthusiast. And I also have the Thumbnailer. Um, but what I want to do here is I want to use the jumbo hoop that's a repositionable hoop. So let's go into our preferences. We want to select multi position. And because I never remember anything, sometimes I have to go through here a couple uh, times to see. Right here, 12 by 5. Click apply and then OK. And I want to select an applique font because I want to put it on those little, um, uh, what are those called, um, gowns. Okay, so I'm going to open this. And here is the letters. This is uh, the 2-inch Cooper. So I'm just going to start moving it around here. Then you come up to this little uh, thingy, the little needle in boxes merge stitch file and it'll bring up this uh, folder list so you're just going to track that folder all the way through to where you want Cooper 2 inch right here so you're going to go into your Pez file A R so I need my R's this one right here yeah, just grab it and drag it over. And then again. And I've never had a problem using the repositionable hoop. Um I really like it. Just getting these things to line up. <clears throat> Pull that down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the last letter. Oh, don't double click on it. There we go. Let me bring these a little closer. And then we'll get them all centered and all that good stuff. Okay, this little box here says fit to hoop. Okay. And that little box has centered the design in the hoop. Alright, here's your stitches. And this is a density adjustment. So I can come in here and I can adjust the density. Make it a little more denser. A little more full. Or fill. Full fill. Oh, fulfill. Okay. And you can... That still looks pretty good. They say the limit is a 20% increase. But I found that I can pretty much increase it however much I want. And it all turns out really, really well. Yep. Looks good. Okay. Oops. So now what I do is what we do to save our files to go over to the scan and cut. Okay, so that you click on your little first little thingy to save all. And this will be a... Uh, 12. Oops, I need the capital A. 
a 12 enter okay and this will be our 12 and I'll just keep right on going doing this I won't shut this off because I know some people need this constant repetition a r 12 save okay why this one this one applique applique position save all r12 eight no yo yo y 12 enter okay this one this one applique position save all little a 12 enter oh fully no oh my cat a 12 lower okay all right so let's pop open this sure cuts a lot. This is how I check to make sure what I was doing is correct so I don't get all the way over to the machine. Oh, pooey, it's not what I want. <coughs> Excuse me. So we open up this sure cuts a lot. Come find our stick. And you do not have to do this, but this is how I check. Oh, perfect. So there's our A. There's our R. There's our Y. Oh, now I need A lower. Right here. Look, beautiful, isn't it? That's absolutely beautiful. So this is what you want to see, okay? And it's not perfectly round because your uh, those letters aren't going to be perfectly round. So that's exactly what we want to see. So we know that what we just did is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we say that absolutely correct. Alright guys, so that's how you go about um, creating your uh, um, large hoop um, in, uh, in Brilliance. Okay, so here I've done the exact same thing um, in brilliant I have it on a five by seven now so now let's say you want to switch it up I saved it in that five by seven you want to come and put it in a four by four you want to do a little hat or something like that and, oh good lord you think I can remember what the four by four size is um, I think right here yep cool so apply okay so now which one do we click right there fit to hoop oh no that's not hmm well because it can't shrink anymore okay so that's what that's telling me really can't shrink anymore let's try to make it go a little bit more a little bit more it's too much they will tell you <clears throat> excuse me they will tell you that 20% is the max to try to move your um, fonts either way and to take a font down from uh, two inches per letter down to this size is asking it to do way too much and it's not going to look right okay so um, pick a different font which is exactly what I'm going to do um, I want to put something on the little baby caps but I'm not sure um, which one I want I already have this saved at the 5x7 and the big um, 5x12 um, so I'm not going to do that to this um, I may come up here ungroup it get rid of this blow this thing up a little bit And just use the regular A like that. Kitty. And just use that. 
okay that's more than normal size but try not to inflate or deflate your letters too much because that will wreck them and it's not the embro or not the maker's fault it's our fault all right guys um i'm going to go ahead and keep working um because i have a entire layette to do um but I wanted to kind of share that with you on how to create things, bring them into um, in brilliance for those people that are new and not um, very experienced with this. I'm one of them, but I have figured out this much so far. All right, guys, thanks a lot. And I forgot when you want to save it, save stitch or save as stitch and working. Always save it like that um, because you can come back in. Um, and fix it so that you have it available for any and everything you can sew with this type of file and you can come back in and fix it okay all right now I'm done